Could you talk us through the events of that day, the day of the alleged attack? Sally, our daughter-in-law, had invited us to the local bistro opening. Jeff wasn't happy with what I was wearing. So he made me put on this dress. When we got back from the pub, he was in a bad mood. So he locked me in the house while he went and got some fish and chips. He knew I was starving. I hadn't eaten all day, but he just got some for himself to punish me. And what happened next? He got the bread knife and cut himself some bread. Then... Take your time. Then he started to make fun of me in the dress. That was when he told me he hadn't bought it for me, he'd bought it for another woman. I presume one of, one of his escorts. Uh, and how did you react to that? I wasn't angry. I'd already guessed he'd used an escort, even though he tried to deny it. I was just upset that things had come to this. I took his arm. I tried to plead with him, but he stepped back and I lost my balance and I fell. So did his dinner, which of course made him even angrier. So I, I, started, to, I started to pick everything up. And what did your husband do meanwhile? He stood there shouting at me, telling me I was pathetic. I was like a dog. Then he started to throw chips at me and telling me to fetch. He got more and more angry. He said it was not just one escort, it was lots. And that I had driven him to it. And where was the bread knife at this point? He was holding it. Uh, and where were you both? By this time, I was standing with my, my back against the worktop. He was facing me quite close. So would it have been possible for you to get away from him? Um, no, it, I would have had to have gone past him. And I was scared of the knife. So what happened next? He was shouting at me. He said, I made his skin crawl. He couldn't bear being married to me. Then he suddenly lunged at me with the knife. I was terrified. I thought, this is it, he's going to stab me. He said, I should kill you, do the world a favor, something like that. And that is when I grabbed the nearest thing, the wine bottle, and I swung it at him. He was still standing there staring at me and I panicked. because I thought, this is it. He's going to be really mad now, and he's going to stab me. And that is when I must have struck out at him again. I don't remember. I just remember him falling and the blood and When I looked, there was a broken wine bottle in my hand. Mrs. Metcalf, you claim that you weren't an alcoholic, yet you attended an alcoholics meeting. Yes, because um, Jeff had convinced me I had a problem, but I hadn't. Of course, it's common knowledge that alcoholics often go through a period of denial, isn't it? Well, yes, but... You I... also recounted an incident whereby he deliberately locked you in his magician's box. How do you know he did? It was obvious. Oh, so you had x-ray vision. You saw him actually do it. No, of course not. Then how can you be sure? Did he say he had? No. What did he say? Um, that the catch had slipped accidentally. In fact... That's what he told his son when he returned. And you agreed 
It had all been an accident, didn't you? Only because... Didn't he... you? Yes. We also watched some footage of Mr. Metcalf shouting at you. It wasn't a pretty sight. Have you ever lost your temper, Mrs. Metcalf? Sometimes. So have I. Unfortunately, we're all capable of it. It's unpleasant, but it's not of itself a crime, is it? No. Now, you told the court that you'd ask for information on Mr. Metcalf under Claire's law. My learned colleague here used this to demonstrate how you must have felt you were being abused. But actually, wasn't it your granddaughter who first approached the police, not you? Yes. She didn't like Mr. Metcalf, did she? In fact, right from the start, she didn't even want him working at the restaurant. She especially wasn't happy that you'd given shares in the business to him. No, no. Isn't that true? It wasn't about Is that. Is that true? Yes or no? Yes. Coming to the night of the alleged attack, you said you heard your husband say, I should kill you. You then added it was something like that. So you're not sure that's what he said? I'm fairly sure. Either you're sure or unsure, Mrs. Metcalf. Which is it? Unsure, I suppose. Now to the knife. You say he was waving it about. Did Mr. Metcalf have the knife in his hand when you attacked him? Yes. He had it in his hand as he came toward me. And that's why you were scared he was going to kill you? Yes. Mr. Metcalf, on the other hand, has stated that he put the knife down before you attacked him. Now, both the medical experts and the police have agreed that Mr. Metcalf was found lying two metres away from where you said you were standing with him in the kitchen. Would you say that was about right? Probably. They've also stated that the knife was found, not by his hand, or near where he'd fallen, but on the kitchen worktop, just under two metres from where he was lying. Would you agree that's quite a long distance away? I suppose. And that it's therefore possible that he had as he stated, already put the knife down, that he wasn't actually holding it when you attacked him. But I was so sure Would that you I... agree that's possible? I suppose it is possible, yes. Thank you. No further questions.